Hey guys, back again with the Mayhem Minute. No real news I want to talk about, but more the, more the concepts. More I hope you guys are appreciating this week. It is WrestleMania week this Tuesday, March 24, 2015. So excited. This is the point where you, if you got the WWE Network, you sit down with your wife and say, look, I apologize. I try not to oversaturate oversaturate you with wrestling to the point where you grew up around this stuff in the Attitude Era, watch it with your grandma. But still, I subject you to so much wrestling because I do several podcasts and I do indie shows and all this stuff. And I just want you to let you know, you got to let me go for this because it's WrestleMania week and it's like a freaking holiday for professional wrestling. And it is. And if you're not appreciating that, then I I, I don't know. Maybe you're, you've lost your fandom. Maybe maybe you're so disenchanted. Maybe you should take up cricket. Um, but it is WrestleMania week. There's so much going on. And I don't know the quality of it. I don't I don't know. You know, I, I was kind of semi impressed by what they did last week. But of course, we got like three, four days of pre-shows. It starts Thursday night with these guys, right? Uh, WWE is going to be doing a, uh, you know, from fan access pre-show kind of situation. Um, uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and two-hour pre-show, kickoff pre-show before we even get to WrestleMania. Plus, we have a live NXT from somewhere in California uh, Wednesday night, which I understand, I guess, Kevin Owens is hurt, so I think they're changing things up a little bit. Um... But it's it's just a celebration of wrestling, and even if you're in in the area, I mean, you know, of course, if you're going to WrestleMania, it's going to be a celebration of wrestling because you have access Hall of Fame uh, WrestleMania itself, Raw the night after. Plus, who knows going to have shows out there? It's usually you know Ring of Honor and, and whoever else can get a building that weekend in the greater uh, area. Um, it's it's. It's just, it's such a good time. It's such a good time. And and regardless, you have to like something about WWE now. If you're the most disenchanted of fans, you have to watch it and appreciate it. Um, because it would how many of you would be here if it wasn't for um for if it wasn't for WrestleMania and Hulkamania and whenever you came in, even if it was Attitude Era or something else, WrestleMania was the big thing. And and nobody does it like that. Nobody's doing the big things. I think the biggest the biggest telling thing, and, and this I'm noticing going through the 30 days of WrestleMania, you always would see in the 80s, especially NWA, all these regional shows trying to compete with WWE, getting these baseball stadiums and never filling the baseball stadium. You would have empty seats no matter where you went. Um, WWE never did that. If you look at the curve of WrestleMania, they went from 90,000 at WrestleMania 3. Down to what, like, what probably thirty thousand, something, something bigger, probably like twenty some thousand at Trump Plaza. Back up to uh, you know WrestleMania eight had some seventy some thousand, I think, uh, or six with the with the, uh, the Toronto. Um, you know they always protected that, right? Um, when they went in through a dip, their venues went through a dip. They didn't do the L.A. Coliseum supposedly because of security, but also maybe lower ticket sales, and they went ahead and moved it. That's okay. That's fine. That if, if, if you never had an empty WrestleMania or an empty-ish, even partially emptiest ish and and if you're not getting excited about, I know people groan when we see oh, Snoop Dogg or or uh, or uh, Bill Simmons on on last night's show, Wiz Khalifa in recent weeks. Apparently, LL Cool J is going to be hosting WrestleMania. I'm gathering. Um, this is WWE's attempt to make. It looked cool again. I mean, it, it, it's not like the late 90s where it became cool and, and we all wore black t-shirts and it was grungy and, all, and hardcore and all that kind of stuff. But WWE, um, you know, is definitely kind of falling off favor generally. It's getting made fun of a lot in general because it's professional wrestling, you know. Um, you know, the, the I mean, the comments surrounding the guy that died in Mexico are disgusting of people's opinions of professional wrestling, I think. Um, but this is a time to celebrate and this is something big. And this is WWE saying, hey, we're going out here we're going out not hollywood silicon valley look at all these people involved ello cool j's down with it bill simmons bill simmons may not have been the great ringside announcer last night but he was a fan just ha having a good time and it it harkens me back to the day where you had like bob euchre and all these random celebrities who were into it maybe not completely understood it but they were into it there um at ringside at wrestlemania two three four you know what what what, what have you 
So what do you think? Is this your wrestling holiday? Do you Are you able to just sink yourself into WWE? I mean, are you a fan of wrestling? Are you a fan of WWE? Are you a fan of WrestleMania? You have to be. You really have to be at this point. Um, and I, and, I, and I, I, I pray for the souls that are so bitter with professional wrestling that they can't find any enjoyment in the WrestleMania. Uh, certainly. So tell me what you think. Uh, comments to this video. Uh, look up everything else at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. I'm at Sorgatron on the Twitters. At Mayhem Show is the Twitter for the show, of course. We got a great show coming up. It's that last Wrestling Mayhem Show um, before WrestleMania. Uh, it's going to be balls to the wall. We're going to go over the Mayhem Mania picks, all the kinds of stuff. It's uh, Tuesday nights, 9 p.m., Eastern Time, live at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, and we'll see you guys next time. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at SorgatronMedia.com.